Philly Jim coming at you with another video. We got the Philadelphia 76ers set to tip off the NBA season tomorrow night for opening night in the NBA as we go back to TD Garden where our season ended last season. Very excited about this team this year. Last year, obviously, we took another step in the process. People, under, people understand Sixers fans are always talking about the process, trust the process, and the process is coming right along. We're getting further and further. Last season, making the playoffs. That was the next step in the series, and we won a playoff series. And we got beat. We got beat down. We got outcoached. Boston was tougher than us, and they beat us. They beat us 4-1. That series easily could have gone 4-1 to the other way, but we were just too much of a young team, made way too many mistakes, and we simply weren't ready to win. But this year is different. There's no excuses about, oh, well, this is their first year in the playoffs. They have no experience. We have the experience now, and we have that feeling of disgust knowing that we very, very, very easily could have won that playoff series. And who knows, we might have we might have ended LeBron's final streak. And that could have been us that got swept. <laughs> that could have been us that got swept. Okay, um, but seriously, you got Markel Fultz. Markel Fultz will start over J.J. Redick this year. I like the move. We went all the way up to number one to draft Markel. Markel has been putting in the work this offseason. He's been working a lot this summer. He has totally changed his jump shot, and he can, he can actually hit shots now. He can get to the rim. He has a great handle, and he brings energy on defense. He's so fast in the open floor. He can go chase down people, have these chase down blocks, he brings this energy and this passion, and Philly loves players that play this type of game. So I am very, very excited for Markel Fultz to finally get his chance to play this year. It's going to be awesome. I'm going to have my eyes on him tomorrow night against Boston. Of course, you already got Joel Embiid and Ben Simmons. As you can see, I'm rocking the Simmons jersey. I expect these guys to improve. You're talking about Embiid. Embiid can make the argument that he could be the best big man in the league. Of course, you got Anthony Davis and you got Cousins, but then you got Embiid. And please miss me with all this Carl Anthony Towns nonsense. The guy is softer than Charmin. You, if you want to know about Carl Anthony Towns, just look at that. Google DeMarcus Cousins versus... Carl Anthony Towns, and you'll see a picture of Cousins is just standing there like this while uh, while Cat is trying to go in for a layup or something. He's dribbling the ball, and his face is just like this. Weak. Weak! Embiid is a monster. He does it all. He does it on both ends of the floor. He's the man. He is the man in Philly. He is the best player on this team. I think if he doesn't get hurt, and he has had an injury history, if he doesn't get hurt, this guy can put on a show. This guy could have an MVP caliber season this year. So I'm excited about MB. And now for Ben Simmons, the star point guard, the rookie of the year. He's not a rookie. Oh, well, you guys need to stop crying. If you want, I'll buy you all a box of tissues, and you can wipe your tears because Donovan Mitchell did not win Rookie of the Year. <sighs> anyway, with Ben, Ben struggled uh, to hit shots. He was not very good from the free throw line. He was not very good. He wouldn't even attempt a three-point shot. He wasn't very good at hitting the mid-range shots. But the guy, 
He can get to the rim so easily, so easily. We just need to see a little bit of improvement from him in his mid-range game. If he can hit a couple of mid-range shots, the league is in trouble. And of course, of course you have the Toronto Raptors. They got Kawhi Leonard, who a lot of Sixers fans, including myself, wanted to bring him to Philly. But... That was a bunch of nonsense. The Spurs were being absolutely absurd. They wanted Simmons or Embiid. Sixers were like, nah. And I totally agree. They're going to be a good team, but can you really count on them? Are they really going to be much different? Or are they still going to be the Raptors? I think they're still going to be the Raptors. So when it comes to playoff time, I think we will be able to beat them if we have to go through them. And then you have the Seas. The Seas are top dogs. Uh, they almost won the East if it wasn't for one LeBron James. They almost won the East without their two-star players. They're getting them back. We'll see how they play. I don't know if they're going to play exactly the same as they did when they had when they had uh, Rozier and Tatum, who I'm not related to, by the way. I get that question a lot. And uh, Jalen Brown and Mark Smart. They played more of like... I think the ball movement was a lot better without Kyrie in the lineup, without Hayward in the lineup, because these are two guys that got to have the ball and they got to score, and that's what they do, and it's part of their game. So we're going to see tomorrow night if uh, the ball movement stays the same or if it's the Kyrie show. We'll see. I do think the Sixers absolutely have a chance to win the Eastern Conference this year. This team has the talent. If we can get a couple of breaks, and the Celtics got breaks again against us last year. When you're in a playoff series, it's not always about being the best team. Yeah, the best team doesn't always win. Sometimes, team gets a break. And they get hot. And they go on a run. This Sixers team could go to the finals. Their goal, their goal, the ultimate goal of the process is to go to the finals. The ultimate goal of the process is to win the finals. And we are getting closer and closer to that. If we go to the finals, um, we probably won't beat Golden State. We probably won't. Golden State has five All-Stars. So barring injury... This barring injury to Golden State, the ceiling for this 76ers team is to go to the NBA Finals. And I believe we have the talent, we have the guys, we have the heart to do that. I'm very excited to see this Sixers team play this year. They're going to be very, very exciting to watch. Like I said, excited about Fultz, Simmons, and BJJ Reddick's back. You got Dario, you got Robert Covington. I think it's going to be a good year for us, man. If I had to make a prediction, I would say we're going to be the two seed. Boston will be the one. And there's a couple of teams that are on the rise in these, but Boston will be the one, Sixers will be the two, Raptors will be the three. Look out for the Indiana Pacers. I think... Victor Oladipo is going to be an absolute animal. I think uh, I think the Wizards will be in the playoffs. There's going to be a couple of teams. There might be a new team on the rise that we don't really see coming that uh, can, act, can make the playoffs in the East. So, yeah, I got the Sixers winning about 50-something games, about 50. I'm going to go anywhere from... 55 to 60 games, if we're lucky. And, yeah, that's it, guys. Uh, very excited for the Sixers. Trust the process. Have a good one, guys. Make sure you comment your thoughts down below. James Tatum's out.